Have you ever been cruising around Lion's Arch, looking at everyone idling in the city, only to see hundreds of one class, but then you feel like you found a rare gem when you see an elementalist? There are too many of them. What are we going to do? Well, it is true, certain classes appeal to different players, and there are some professions that are just more popular than others. I have found the top three, and I've tried to define some commonality between them to figure out why everyone plays these three classes in Guild Wars 2. Probably no surprise here, the Ranger. I mean, if you wanted a bow-slinging, pet-wielding class, then this is of course your go-to. Sick em. I believe a main reason that the Ranger is so well loved is because it boasts the initial archer archetype in MMOs, which after a while you realize it's not the only arrow shooting class in the game. Aside from the warrior and the dragon hunter, however, the Ranger's longbow is arguably the most popular. Still, many players look for that bowman fantasy, and Ranger, for all intents and purposes, gives that 110%. <laughs> Now, it also allows for some unique interactions or role playing, especially when we talk about throwing axes or even utilizing some traps. But overall, it covers the aesthetic nicely. Of course, the Ranger also appeals to players because of their pet. Damn, boy, he fit! Who wouldn't want to go into endgame content with their longtime companion, Scruffles? The Ranger pet definitely gives players companionship, that is a common staple in most MMOs. What is unique, however, about the pet mechanic is the ability to swap back and forth between pets to handle different situations, specifically dealing with harder hitting mobs. Oh, your MOA is about to die? Swap to bear for some more tanking. If in need of an on-demand ability, there you go. That's not even talking about the elite specializations in the Soul Beast, the Druid, or the Untamed. They truly encapsulate the feel of the Wanderer of the Open Wilds. Personally, I think another reason that many players play this class and it is so popular is because of how well it does on its own. Like as a solo class, it can handle quite a bit of everything in open world, whether it's bosses, champion mobs, exploration, you name it. It is an incredibly durable and incredibly forgiving profession for new players, so it makes sense why people choose this class pretty often. Guild Wars 2 is also noted as an exploration style MMO, so you have a class that does really well at that. Go figure. What do you think is the least popular profession in Guild Wars 2? Tell me down below. A fantastically done profession, and of course, why it's probably so popular, is the Necromancer. The Necromancer is absolutely unique in that fashion because of their use of, well, death. Fall. Minions, edge lordiness, and corruption, but for goodness, not for badness. The Necromancer sits well with a lot of players just because of its straightforward gameplay. Honestly, it's not overly complex. It fits into many roles. And seriously, the Death Shroud is a whole reason to play this profession just straight up. That's not even to speak on those who play Guild Wars 1 and play Necromancer there and transferred over. It has long been a fan favorite. Then in open world and PvP and even in end game PvE, the Necromancer can be comparable to the fancy new elite specializations that we see today. Speaking of those fancy elite specializations, honestly, let's just turn a spotlight onto the Reaper. It is a driving force for many players to pick up the greatsword and freeze enemies to death and then rip their fleeting souls out from their husks. Your brother's soul is mine. Grim. The Reaper also recently had a major buff in PvE content, so now it is more popular than it has ever been before. The Scourge, on the other hand, is still amazing at condition DPS and, and is a fantastic support being able to bring players back to life and then spam them with an ungodly amount of barriers. It is just too good not to bring to any real endgame content. Regardless of the reasoning for playing Necromancer in any fashion, it is just so damn cool to play. I recently made an analysis video on the Reaper and then made a new player guide for the core, and I loved it. I wanted to keep playing. Something about rotting enemies away with conditions and then turning into the avatar of death itself to blast them into oblivion is just, well, it's just so satisfying. If you are enjoying the video, you are now commanded to like the video, then hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Actually, you're your own person. Don't don't listen to me. Of course, without a doubt and no surprises here, the most popular profession in Guild Wars 2 is the Guardian. The Guardian has long been the golden child of ArenaNet. <laughs> 
forever. <laughs> Maybe not the absolute favorite, but it certainly seems that way. The Guardian fits that Holy Paladin, Righteous Vindicator look, feel, and sentiment. They use holy magic to protect allies and smite enemies. It's kind of cliche in most MMORPGs to have the holy boy somewhere in the game, but the Guardian is a bit unique in the sense of less holy smites and more holy crap I'm on fire. I appear to have burst into flames. The major appeal that I feel for most players is the fact that it's the super protective genre, meaning the character who will lay down their life to save those they care about. To be the, well, guardian of all that is good and just. Admittedly, I love that genre. I like being that exact cliche. I played guardian for a long time and still do from time to time. You and I are not so different. I'm not like you. <laughs> Aside from the aesthetic, the Guardian actually has some really great gameplay. Between virtues, the spirit weapons, and honestly how they use their weapons, it's, it's a lot of fun. The other side of the Guardian favoritism is of course how they play into endgame content. Literally, the Heal Firebrand is the premier support across the board. It can do everything on top of doing some incredible damage. I mean, why wouldn't you want to bring a heal firebrand? The Willbender is a brutal fighter in open world and especially vicious in PvP. With so many escapes, they act as if they are a thief. The Dragon Hunter honestly just looks cool. You shoot holy arrows and then trap the unjust in your 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 death zones. I mean, but I believe this to be the main reason. They can fit a number of roles in endgame content. They do them well, and they are fairly simple to understand, allowing players to focus on other things in-game, rather than an intensely laborious rotation. It's fantastic to have a Guardian in any fashion, really, in, in the groups. What do you think? Do you agree with my list? If you want to see the most fun PvP specs, click this video here. Stay caffeinated, folks.